Hey everybody, I'm Trish Wachowski from FoldFactory.com and this is your 60 second super cool fold of the week. This week's super cool fold is a classic, the gate fold. Um, I want to start by talking about terminology. A lot of people call this a double gate and this is actually just a gate. Okay, um, a double gate would be in and then in again, so two gate folds. Um, but this is just a gate. Um, secondly, I want to talk a little bit about production. Gate folds can be a little bit more expensive depending. Um, they require an extra attachment at the end of the folding machine to do that last fold that goes in toward the other. Um, if your printer doesn't have that piece of equipment, then what they do is called semi-automated finishing. So they'll finish it part by machine and then do the last fold by hand. So that can add to cost and time, uh, production time. So just make sure you know that ahead of time, but gates are very common, so it may really not be an issue. Um, lastly, I want to talk a little bit about file setup and production. Um, there's definitely a lot of range as far as what you end up with in that gap here um, as to what's acceptable production-wise. Um, my tip to designers is to either use a proper template. Um, you can get a gate template at fullfactor.com. You can also ask your printer for help with a proper file setup. Um, or, if nothing else, talk to your printer and tell them how important it is to you to make sure that that gap is as close as it can be. Because if you leave that decision up to somebody else, um, you may get something that you're unhappy with. So the key is communication, proper file setup, and you should be pretty happy with your result. So that's your 60 second super cool fold of the week, the gate fold. For this to your friends and colleagues, keep the dialogue going, and viewers, send me your folds. If I use them, I'll send you free stuff. Visit foldfactory.com for more ideas and inspiration, and remember, think finishing at the beginning. I'll see you next week. Bye.